Good morning. This, uh, this is our second week video. Uh, we start off with a few little announcements, important stuff for you to pay attention to, um, but it won't take very long to do it. Uh, first off is uh, make sure that you're looking at the FFA Google Classroom, uh, that you're taking a look at the things uh, in there. Also on the FFA website, uh, things like an update on animal projects or shop projects. There's a letter that was just posted um, late last week, uh, maybe Friday or Saturday, on uh, the forecast of livestock projects for the summer and that kind of thing. It's posted on there. Really good information. Please take a look at it. Uh, the next most important thing is the Ag Boosters Scholarship. Uh, the Ag Boosters is a very generous group uh, that wants to give you money so you can go do something else next year if you're a senior. That deadline is extended until, I believe, the 23rd, 24th. It's the end of this week. Uh, so check out the website for that one. And then the 23rd, 24th, uh, I think it's the 24th is Friday, will be the end of the grading period. Uh, regular Aries grades do that way, but make sure that you've gone back and uh, turned in as much on our regular uh, Google Classroom and on the uh, FFA Google Classroom. That's it for announcements, and now we will get into our regular topic for the week of April 20th, and that is welding symbols. Yay! If you're in AgMech 2 or in Ag Welding, this will be a little bit of a review. If you're in AgMech 1, it's going to be new information, but information that's uh, really, really critical. So um, I brought in this bracket, uh, something I just put together this week. If you see right there, I think you can see that little weld in the middle. The issue is you don't want to weld all the way across some things. In this bracket specifically, we didn't want it to, to bow, and so we don't want to put a bunch of heat into it. And so on the back side, you'd be able to measure that there are three 5 8 welds along here. If you wanted to draw this and have somebody in a shop recreate this, you would need to have on your drawings the weld symbol that showed them to make a 5 8 weld here, a 5 8 weld in the middle, and a 5 8 weld out here on the end. And using weld symbols on your drawings would be able to tell that welder in the shop where to put those welds. The two videos that I have linked in the Google Classroom are going to tell you the arrow side and the other side. Uh, the arrow side uh, is always below and the other side is always on top. If you think about this thing being a diving board, and uh, if it's listed on the other side, which would be the top, it would be basically jump over to the other side of the metal. So if I was going to show you the other side on this, if the arrow was pointing here, but it was marked on the other side, you'd actually make the weld on the other side of the part. So it's, it's making three-dimensional directions possible on a sheet of paper. There's two really good videos on, on weld symbols. The guy does a nice job. It's again on weld.com. The second part of the assignment, is, and there's only two parts this week, the second part of the assignment is a Bob Moffat video. I really like those Bob Moffat videos. He does a really good job. It's about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, but it's not, it's not a whole bunch. And it goes over the basics of stick welding. So if you're in Ag Welding or Ag Mech 2, it might be a little bit of a review. If you're in Ag Mech 1, it's going to be right up your alley. And uh, I just need a short write-up on those things. If you can get out and weld something yourself, uh, maybe submit a picture, share it somehow uh, with the Google Classroom. If you're out doing mechanic stuff, maybe share that also. I hope you're staying safe out there. Uh, read a book, learn something, paint something, weld something, and we will talk to you soon.